Good afternoon. Um, so, <clears throat> sorry for so long detail, there are a lot of things, uh, but uh, I will show you in the slides that we need uh, most, more or less all these things, uh, so that's why we have um, such things. Uh, I am Alfredo and I am working in Pamplona with uh, Javier Arlegui and uh, we are also working with Michele Moro, which is in Italy. And um, uh, for our previous background, we have been working together uh, on a European project called Telecop a long time ago, some years ago. And uh, then we will have continued our collaboration mainly with the Italy, the Italian partners. Uh, through the FLL, we were talking about mm -hmm. FLL, so we, we have been collaborating also <coughs> in Spain, in Navarra and in Italy. Um, and uh, the last uh, two years more or less we have a focus on working uh, with teachers. We are training teachers, so I am not working directly with kids, uh, I am training teachers, uh, we are training teachers, and we are trying to um, to have materials uh, that are valid to teach the teachers and for the teachers to use these materials, those materials with the kids at the school. Uh, so, um, you, you, you have been um, uh, talking to my colleagues about uh, the good things we can make with robots. Uh, in, we try to relate, to link that to the curriculum, uh, to the competencies also. We were talking to someone about the competencies. And uh, there is a one uh, fact in uh, young people, because uh, we are in primary now, so we go with uh, 11, 12 years old uh, kids, and uh, they are very curious. So it's quite nice to, uh, to use uh, this motivation, this curiosity of the kids. And you were talking, Halis, about science and society. There is a, a Rocker, uh, the Rocker report uh, from 2007, and uh, saying what you were telling to us, uh, the need of uh, uh, curiosity for science and, so science and technology uh, for our young people. Uh, I think uh, we still need to, to take into account you know, this some years ago, but, uh, and uh, new forms of pedagogy. Sorry, you see a lot of information I am giving to you, but, uh, you know, inquiry-based approach in the schools is the key, uh, one of the key things. Um, uh, you have been talking about it, all of you. Um, another thing uh, we are trying uh, is the recommendation, for there are more recommendations, uh, but, uh, is to uh, promote the participation of the cities, the local community, and so on, as you, you are going to see. So, these two ideas, we are trying to, to use them. There is another one also about, this is the European Reference Framework for Competencies, uh, it's um, um, related with what we were talking about, the European uh, education, European space, but in this case, is for citizens, eh? And uh, those are the uh, key competencies, um, the reference framework, and this is valid for primary, uh, for secondary level also, <coughs> so then adapting for university and primarily for our citizens. Mm. So this is one thing we have also in mind. Mm. Um, of course, behind this you can find things like crit critical thinking, creativity, initiative, problem solving, they are not specifically uh, in these eight key competencies, but they are ex uh, not explicit, but implicit. So, the goals of what we are doing is to create materials, low cost, we are going to see why uh, low cost, and not only with physical robots, um, so we have virtual robots, and low cost virtual robots, for curricula and basic competencies, so both things. Mm -hmm. And the idea um, is to have teachers, they need, uh, they need some support because we're working normally with teachers, now we have uh, asked the schools to be with them. So we are working with teams uh, of 
teachers and the schools are with them also in this idea. You know? uh, and we want to promote the society participation also. Mm -hmm. So the tools um, we are using NXT as a lot of schools they have already NXT. Um, no, uh, okay. um, and we are using, in fact, Bayogi, which is an evolution of Scratch, so it's a programming language, uh, based uh, a little logo uh, idea, is also a kind of outfit tool, and uh, it's uh, very uh, powerful but from a programming point of view. So, in fact, uh, we are trying to work. Uh, we have been talking about uh, the different platforms to program with uh, textual and non-textual uh, programming languages. In fact, we are trying to find a way to program from the keyboard okay, um, to uh, 70 years old and to have some um, continuation in programming and such kind of, of things, you know. And now we are in primary level trying to do things with BioB and with NXT. So in fact, uh, we have uh, with BioB, uh, what we have is, you see, um, pictures. So our scenarios are pictures, like, like this. And what we are doing uh, to help the teachers, we are developing virtual sensors to be used in these uh, virtual scenarios in order to they are similar to the sensors, not exactly, but they are similar to the light sensor or, or the infrared sensor of the one we And, and uh, this is very interesting because it's interactive. So we, we can have a, a feedback very quick. Uh, okay, there are some didactics. We have been talking here about didactics. Uh, we try to make PBL. In fact, we, we try not to make yet another course on robotics, on NXT, on BioB, whatever. We try to have problems and then we are trying to solve the problems. Uh, we can have classes of problems. So we can have a constructive path eh, or itinerary. Eh? Uh, and um, sometimes uh, when we are working with a class of problems, we can have facts, very simple things. Eh? And then little by little we are making uh, some abstractions in order to, this is the schema of axiology uh, of Shabalat, in order to have technologies. Eh? I mean, uh, if you can uh, learn how to make a square of 10 centimeters, of 20, 30, one moment you know how to make uh, rectangle, uh, sorry, square of L, and eh, length L, and finally you can learn how to make polygons. So the idea is eh, to, to, to go bottom up like that, and then when you go bottom up and you have a technology, eh, you can use the technology and you can go top down, use formula, for example. So we are playing in some way to, uh, to be scientists. With the kids, uh, with the robots, for example, with the wheel, you can try because all the programming languages are already <coughs> more to the robot than to the problems. So uh, if you want to uh, make uh, to measure centimeters, to advance in centimeters, we have to transform and the uh, primitives. And so we are making this uh, bottom-up approach in order to have blocks that are able to work with centimeters and then we use that. Sorry. Uh, OK. Uh, mm, this, all, uh, this is a slide uh, from the Teleco project. Uh, finally, all these ideas uh, have to be um, plus in some uh, kind of uh, these uh, problems, eh? uh, different problems. And then uh, we have several stages like Catherine uh, uh, was saying to us. So it's a classical uh, PBL approach, you know? Well, so uh, mm, the, the experiences I am going to tell you about one uh, summer course we have been doing the last two years, uh, following these ideas. Mm -hmm. So here you have the virtual scenarios. So this is for BioB, you see. Uh, and what we are, we are defining several classes of problems for every one. It's a parking, uh, it's a normal 
you can see a, a normal street with uh, the bakery, the garage, and so on. So we are thinking on, okay, I have to go to, the, to take the bread, and then I will go to the garage. If the garage is open, I can go in. If it is not open, because all this uh, as it's, it's an interactive scenario, so we can open or close the, uh, the, the door of the garage, and so on. we can make sumo, we have some tuners, so we can use light sensors, etc., etc. And we have also the same scenario or similar uh, in, in the real one for the NXT uh, robots, you see. And uh, this is at the planetarium because we try also to work at the school with the teachers at the university, but we go to the planetarium to show all things and the parents are coming there. So we try to, uh, to, to put all together to make the society to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the, the, here you have some data about uh, okay. more than 10 more than 10? No, 9, 9. OK, no, no. Okay. Um, and so, summer courses. We have uh, implemented these ideas into one summer courses. The idea is the first week, we teach the teachers uh, five days, five mornings. And the second week, we bring kids for the teachers. And the teachers are teaching to the kids. Uh, so that's the idea of the summer courses. And um, this is a, a, an open schema, so we have teachers, but we have also maybe other persons. Uh, sometimes we have students in uh, education. Yeah? Uh, because we work also during the course uh, with active teachers yeah? in the network we have. And uh, more or less we had about uh, 7 8 teachers and 35 students for the second week. Mm -hmm. Um, and okay, this is these are the details, eh? first week and the second week. Uh, the materials we are using, you have seen more or less the, the, the idea. You, you can see uh, how the problems are eh? uh, with those scenarios. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last day, you see, they are showing uh, the products some kids are showing with the teacher. Uh, the value part, this is for showing what they have been programming in the visual programming environment like uh, ValueB. Of course, using some materials we have made for the teachers. We are implementing the sensors and some parts. So uh, we are teaching that to the teachers. And the teachers in general, except if they are computer scientists, but we, we have uh, not only computer scientists. This is, this is another thing. We try to have not only technology or technological teachers. And then, so they, they have to show, uh, you don't see very well, but all the parents are there also, some politi politicians also, <laughs> which is good sometimes. Um, what? Well, uh, discussion. Um, so the materials are quite flexible because we are using to teach the teachers and the teachers are using them to teach the kids. Okay, you can change things, yeah, but um, they are interesting. Um, also, we are working <coughs> behind this, the uh, educational authorities um, of Navarra in this case, uh, are, are with us. So we are organizing this, the university and the, the, the education department and the planetarium as our science museum is uh, the, the neediest of the science museum we can have in Navarra. So we are, work, we are creating a synergy between uh, those uh, institutions and the families as they are coming. So, you know, the families know because we are not teaching the kids. We are teaching the teachers that are teaching the kids. And the families know that they are collaborating in the teaching of the teachers. Um, and also, as the education department is there, uh, is a stable support for the teachers and for the schools. And the schools are also supporting the teachers because if we have only teachers by themselves, it's not, it's not enough. It's a personal effort and it is okay for one year, for, for two years maybe, but uh, we need a network and we need uh, teachers with the schools eh, and teams of teachers and so on. And so we are trying also to make these things. It's very long, eh, but uh, 
we have now a group of people interested. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, three minutes maybe. <laughs> um, okay, uh, you see here some about the curricula. Um, we are working curricula and basic competencies, as I said before. Okay? And um, uh, and for example, <coughs> we are talking about mathematics, technology, physics, and so on. But uh, for example, we are working foreign languages. In the last summer course, there were two uh, teachers that they were bilingual. Eh? So they started to make the same things eh, with English. Uh, we had to change very quick some <laughs> uh, vocabulary of the census, but we can use, for example, for another language. Eh? Uh, I say that basic competencies, explicitly and in directly way, some others. Eh? And some, for finishing some um, commentaries, eh? we didn't make an exhaustive evaluation of all these things, we should make. Uh, but we have some feedback of the teachers uh, about the mathematical competencies, for example, here. Uh, a young male teacher says, we have worked on some aspects relating to distances, angles, correspondence between measures, characteristics of movement, constant, speed, some logical elements, so all the physical and non-mathematical uh, programming uh, uh, elements. Uh, and a young female teacher adds also the physical space was made of geometric figures where they had to make their tasks. So they had to measure, they had different um, geometries and so on. Linguistic communication. Uh, so they are working with natural language, explaining the scenarios, um, you know, uh, understanding the problems. Eh? So the new problem challenge to achieve to the viewers is natural language. They, they had to explain both problems and solutions they were finding, so they are using language to communicate, to make a dissemination of their research, and the correct language, eh? and also they have to use a formal language, programming uh, formal language, so uh, they have to make, uh, they have to be correct eh? in such things. Okay, they are working in teams, so they are working in social and citizen competencies. Eh? Uh, I, I don't, I don't, See, last slide. Yeah. Uh, in fact, the big title is because we are working on these things. The teachers are in the center, you know. Uh, European teams, we try to work uh, with Italian colleagues at this moment, but yeah. uh, another interesting thing is the problems should come from the society and the schools. A lot of times we are uh, making artificial problems, and we can go to the planetarium, for example, to have real problems from the society. Eh? And uh, the students have to give answers. Eh? Uh, IBS approach, social institutions. Eh? We are using technology, mm -hmm. um, and uh, to have some criteria. In this case, European quality uh, framework, eh? and so on. So in this schema, you have more or less all the ideas I was talking about. And Thank you very much.